I'm okay. You're okay. Oh, Chrissy, okay as well. All right, cool. Maybe. Everyone's okay, and we hope you're okay as well. And if not, that you're at least okay with the gay. Speech, 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 speech. From all the way in England. <laughs> so you'll want to listen to his delightful accent. <laughs> this young man is David's best man, best man. Dave. Thank you. See you in a great Travis, excuse me a moment. My car's really wrong. He grew really big, I promise you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dave, and as you just heard, I flew a long way to be here as a best man and my best friend, our GI Joe fan. <laughs> This English gentleman, Mary Old England, we got more merry and honoured to have been here. For my best American friends in this joyous and strong waiting day. This is one of the Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. I'm saying, I recently saw a wise man say that friends are the family we choose. How true, because I chose a long time ago to consider these two brilliant guys to be like a part of my family. And it's been so great to me over the years that I've known them. And I've only known David and Michael for a few years, but in those few years, my friendship with David, especially, has grown to make his son love and best buddies forever. Honestly, it's been so good. And I could literally go on a laugh and about how brilliant the friend David has been to me and is to me. But I'm sure we have more toast to look forward to. And I hate, of course. And so um, I'll try and keep this short and then sweet. And uh, it's incredible to think how much my life has changed for the better and all the new exciting and previously unimagined experiences that have come from that first conversation I struck up with David three years ago on a YouTube video meeting on his dog and started talking about our dogs. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
one of Michael's outstanding attributes, and that is ability to crack himself up. <laughs> Anyone who knows Michael has experienced this phenomenon. <laughs> Case in point, his bad, really, really bad jokes. <laughs> Michael, David, I'm so thankful to call you my family. No one is perfect, but you're perfect for each other. Please join me in raising a glass to Michael and David. May the joys you share today be the continuation of a lifetime of great happiness and joy. Congratulations. Salud. Salud. Thank you. 
Michael and David, I love you I love you dearly. I don't have anything written. I don't have anything prepared because it comes from the heart. Your friendship to me is indescribable. It's uh, far-reaching and forever. And I love you very, very much for you. As one of us said, no one's perfect. But you guys are perfect for one another. I find that your personalities combine into one great light that shines out and reaches so many different people. You know, all your worlds are colliding here today. I know what that's like. Michael officiated at Betsy and my wedding in early June, so uh, this is kind of payback. <laughs> I don't have any stories you don't already know about Michael because he is so very open to all of us. He is funny, he's loving, he's consistent. He's always the same. He's always positive. He's always Michael. David, you can always count on him to have his phone around, to take videos and pictures. <laughs> and, oh, you don't know what this? Well, you know, I'll Google it for you. And it just comes across as being very, very helpful. They're beautiful together. Rupert's a lucky guy. <laughs> right there. So, without further ado, to Michael and David, forevermore, the final. Hello. One more toast. I, I would like, uh, on behalf of David and I, I would like to toast all of you. And, and as I said in the program, David and I consider our friends the family we choose. So we were married today in front of our family and our family. Um, so I just wanted to say that this is a room full of band people and family members and uh, middle school teachers. And what I wanted to mention to you is that, you know, when marriage passed in Washington and you all helped it pass, you changed the world. Not just for David and I, uh, but for kids who are growing up now. So you voted that David and my family is not less than, but that we deserve a seat at the table and that we matter. And uh, even more importantly to me, uh, as a middle school teacher, is that there's going to be whole generations of kids who grow up having what David and I didn't have. They get to grow up whole. And they get to grow up knowing that they matter, and that it's not okay to bully them, and that there's consequence. So, the middle school teacher in me loves you for that. And I wanted to recognize my, my mom real fast. Sandy. She is great. Uh, so, my mom is fearless. Um, at Starbucks today, she went up to a stranger and said, would you please take a picture of my boys? We're getting married today. <laughs> This is the lady who once called the Morning COVID show to chew them out because they showed men wearing tutus and they said, that does not represent my son. How dare you? <laughs> so I wanted to say a special thank you to my mom because I'm the person I am and the person that you taught me to stand up for yourself and to stand up for others and that that's not a choice. You just do that and I love you. So, Cheers to the family, to the friends, and to the next 19 years to So the guy said that if anybody out here wants to make a toast or share a story, that I'm supposed to share the microphone. So is there somebody who wants to speak? Yes. Right. Here? Yeah, sure. Oh, hard. <laughs> Um, I'm David's sister, Jennifer. I'm the oldest. We're about 18 months apart of us. I forgot I have to 
talk into the mic. <laughs> Anyways, um, as any siblings can be, growing up can be wonderful and it can be very rivalrous and um, all of those things. And so I will be the first to admit that sometimes David and I had our odds growing up. Um, I graduated in 1993, and so in the early 90s, there was a lot of anti-gay measures being passed in Oregon. And thanks to my best friend, Nicole, who I've known for 25 years and is very sadly not able to be here today, but sends her regards, we grew up, um, even as young adults, feeling like there was something wrong with that inability to treat everyone unfairly, and I really challenge or thank my mom because she really kind of taught us that you have to embrace all the differences in life to have all the colors of the rainbow. But, you know, that was something that um, was transformative for me as a high school student. And so through my best friend, I met my first openly gay man, a fellow drag queen. And, um, you know, so it was just something I was passionate about, little knowing that it would be something that would be so important in our lives going forward. Um, and so I was digging through some stuff for my high school reunion and found this letter David wrote me in 1996. <laughs> and I'm not going to read it all, it's mostly personal, but I did want to share this with you. <laughs> someone who cared enough to help me meet some people that I could be truly open with about this part of me that I needed to express or I would have exploded. Of course, and he was, he's always questioning whether it's okay that he's out and open and living his life as a gay man. And I just want you to know from the bottom of my heart that it's never been an issue and we always love you. And you asked me if I was mad at the fact that you chose to come out. And of course, never. And I don't know if it was by accident or whatnot when you let Alex and I move into your bedroom. And we, you know, you came out to me. And at the time, I was okay with that, not understanding how deep and personal that was for you and how much that enriched my lives and allowed me to enrich, enrich the life of my children. And I just love you for everything that you are. And I'm so glad that we have been able, that you have been able to let childhood things go <laughs> and let us become friends. And I just love this relationship with you. And I'm so thankful that you are in my life. And for Michael, again, speaking that you met at a very young age. I just have seen from the moment how you guys click and how you've become part of our family from the get-go. And we love you. And I really just am so thankful for the all you do as a teacher for the upcoming generations. And, you know, we've been friends, I think, pretty much from the get-go. <laughs> and I just appreciate your laughter and sense of humor and you know, interest in my kids and our growing up kids and all you do for them. And so I wish you many, many, many more years of happiness. So a toast to oh. Sandy and Mr. and Mrs. Ross for giving us these wonderful men. Cheers. Cheers. want to recount that um, last summer, um, my boyfriend and I, um, well, I bought a house and we were moving into the house and we had bought a couch that we were taking and we were going to put in our van. 
But the house was so small, there was not going to be a back couch in the den. So we drove it to, um, to put it in my classroom. And we get up to the school in my granted U Hall, right? And we did not have the key to get in. I love the key. <laughs> and so Michael happened to be at the school. And was it with James? Was it with James? Or was it, it was, you were with a friend who was visiting? And um, so I was like, hey, you have a key? <laughs> And so, yes, he opened the um, he opened the school for me, and then he and his friend who just happened to be there, helped us move the couch <laughs> into my classroom. And um, we worked together for a long time, and we're not super close, but I know that um, that's the way that Mike looks. You know, he's gonna go out of his way to help people, and Michael, you are one of the best and most genuine generous people that I know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't plan this either and um, I'm so emotional, especially thanks to Jennifer for having that. No, it's just amazing <laughs> how life comes to be. And when I met Dave, he was not out to his family either. And since knowing me, and knowing Michael, and knowing Anita, and everyone else that he's met, through Michael, and through me, he has come out to his family. And I think so many people that are here understand that so many of us have such a hard time coming out to our family. And I'm so happy that he's out to his family and takes care of his family. But we know that if you don't mind me sharing, almost half of his life was living in fear. And I think a lot of times people don't understand that. No one here agree with us or our relationship or anything. As hard as you may have accepted us, we all had that same hard time to accept ourselves. And so when people come and they accept you and they don't judge you and you feel human and you don't feel like there's something wrong with you and that you don't deserve all the hate and all the anger that's directed towards you. So I want to thank you, everybody, and my sister Jennifer, like I said, my sister Pam, I'm mean, sorry I messed that up, all this. So Melissa and Jennifer <laughs> And it feels, you know, even when we were growing up, it's like when you're upset with somebody, you're like, Jennifer, Melissa, whoever you are, I'm mad at you. <laughs> it happens. And it feels, you know, I understand each person has to have their own feelings. And whether you accept me and Michael or our relationship, thank you for some showing your support and for being here. And I'm thankful that I have my brother James, who we're not super close with, but that's mostly because he's been most of the time he's always been in the service. So this guy has dedicated himself to America, and today he has really shown that he's dedicated himself to me and Michael. So thank you for everything that you do for all of us. And I don't want to outdo how long yours was, so I'll try to hurry up. <laughs> but I also want to say, you know, because of Sandy being here, and I won't share too much, but it really means a lot that you have the support of a mother. And I'm so grateful that I get to call somebody as great as you, my mother. So thank you for being a great mother to me. And my husband, I you. But I also would be and a lot of my family wouldn't be here if it wasn't thanks to my mom. So thank you, Mom, for being there. So, I just want you to know, Mom, in front of everybody, that I love you. And I thank you for your support. And I thank you for the connection that we have with one another. And that you just show me all the love. You show my husband also a lot, a lot of them. So thank you again for everyone. Thank you. Okay, and this isn't because I don't 
want to recognize my dad. Uh, I just <laughs> It's hard to say what you have to say when you don't want to offend other people. And you don't want to try and understand why certain people can't be here. And so I just want to thank Dad for also being here. And no matter how you support us, that you support us by being here. And I also don't want to put it out there because it's not maybe nice to say. But I have a sister, Pamela, that I love a lot. And I know that she's struggling with this. And I know that she loves me too. And it will take some time to heal. But I love you, Pamela, if you ever see this. Sarah? And I'm sorry you can't be here today, but I hope one day you'll accept us, at least enough to show your support for me and for the man that I love, even if you don't support our relationship. You know, it's been a very emotional day all the way around, but the bottom line is we're here to celebrate Michael and David's union together. And so it's nice to get these feelings out and to be surrounded by those you love. And so let the games begin. Woo